Today, I'm introducing the Fox Magnet. The Fox Magnet has been used in Australia for many, many years by government departments, rural landholders, and also homeowners and small rural allotment owners where foxes, the European red fox, encroaches from rural farmlands areas into the peri-urban environment and even the industrial environment like where our warehouse is. So essentially, your flat-packed magnet trap will turn up just like this. And this one is the fox magnet. It's a large trap. It's 1,050 millimetres in length by 450 by 370. And that essentially gives you a very strong and heavy-duty commercial but collapsible trap. Now, of course, if you're using a box cutter, I would be advising you to wear gloves, but essentially your trap will come, and being a relatively large trap, there's a bit to get out. So we've got an accessories pack that's got some uh, spring hinges, which I'll explain in a moment, some cable ties, which is just an option to use, and then some uh, split pins. Now, of course, it's going to come all cable tied together, so it might take a few minutes to get all this together. Okay, so essentially our unit tends to all hold together, and then we can just place our rear door and our front door just aside for the moment. What we need to do now is essentially create the, 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 the cage box. So here we got the whole thing linked together. The base, of course. The base will of course have the treadle plate. Now the treadle arm needs to be put in place before I put the rest of the trap together. Okay, so the idea here is we get the treadle arm, we need to basically bring this across like this, and that needs to go over this small arm here. And what that does is puts the treadle plate arm above this and out of this window here. Okay, really important because often it, the whole assembly place will go together and then you'll realize that the treadle arm is very difficult to try and lock back into place. Now, what we need to do here is empty the contents and I'll try and hold all this together. Okay, and essentially all we're going to do now is put the, the three spring hinges on. You can use the cable ties, but I prefer the, the spring hinges. There's a little bit of a trick here. You just essentially spiral that on. Okay, and the first one gets spiraled on and we'll spiral that all the way to the centre here. Okay. Then, again, the second one can do the same, spiralled on, and it will just sit towards the front of the trap just here. And then lastly, our third spring can just come on here and again, spirals on and away we go. All right, so now our collapsible tra trap is essentially into the box shape. Now, our front door will of course go over here and our role here is of course, make sure that we've got it facing outwards and by facing outwards, we'll have this arm up to over here. And then our next job, of course, is to then try and fit these flanges that are sitting here into the front of our cage. And that sometimes takes a little bit of maneuvering. It'd be great to have an extra pair of hands at times, but it can be done just with this all coming together like so. Very rarely will you get it the first go, but if you do, well, that's all well and good. It just might take a little bit of maneuvering, and now that's locked in place. Now, to get the rear door on. The rear door 
goes on, of course, with these small flanges or the four pointing downwards and again replicating the front door. You get the, the bottom two in first and the top two at the same time, which can be a little bit tricky. Okay, so then what we're going to do is put the split pins in four places at the front and four places at the rear. So we've got a little hole that's going to lock the door in place here, 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 and here, and the same in reverse at the back. So the best way to do this is from the inside. The inside means that there's no sharp edges pointing inwards, one at the rear that could injure the animal, but secondly, when you're placing your food in, or attractants and so on, um, that will actually catch on your skin and something that's not desirable. So essentially I'm just going to place it in like so. That can close the flat nip lid now. And then just with your fingers or with a pair of pliers, you can just part the split pin. So then that's locking our front door in place. For the rear door, we'll now put the split pins in as well. And so this will require you to actually take the rear door out. I'll place that here. And then again, just putting the split pins in and then parting that or splitting the split pin. And that will mean that everything then locks in place. Like so. So now the rear door goes back on. Thanks for joining us.